It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these AFC East foes. It's the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills, next on Madden Football. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, They've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pants just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. And we are underway in Buffalo. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. to his tight end, Gesicki. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Zappi. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Zappi. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they... Didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. They'll come up facing third and five. Zappi from the gun. 
He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That gain on third down, good for 28. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing, and they got it out to him on the left side, and he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, down at the 31. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A false start backs them up five, first and 15. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gusecki. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Looking to throw, Zappi. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed five there on third down, he winds up getting seven. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Stevenson now on first and 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They run once more with Stevenson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Like what we saw right there, good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield, and then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. Extra point by Ryland, up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Well, we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both, and at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well.
Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second and nine now from the 21. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On play action, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 35. A good pick up there, 22. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. They'll come up second and seven. Allen running right on the option. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Here's Allen on first and 10. Touchdown, Bills! Trent Sherfield, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that went good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there, tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that a seven play, 80 yard drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. Escapes the defender. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? This is second and eight. From the shotgun, Zappi. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Well, I'd say a couple people didn't get the read correct, huh? Zone coverage. Linebacker dropped right into the proper spot. Lucky that one wasn't picked off. He was looking directly in his eyes as he threw the football. And you're right, it was telegraphed. Probably should have been picked. Zappi on third down. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball on this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. The Patriots send out their punter, and no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. Oh, he shifts past him. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Allen now looks to throw. He's got the hook up with Diggs. A big play here for Buffalo. 43 yards. We know play calls can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Here's Allen. And that is Cook. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have taken the lead. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's what you created with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 22. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 29, here's second down and three. Zappi back to throw. He finds Douglas complete. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. First and ten, Zappi. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Douglas. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Zappi working from the gun. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 21. A very solid gain of 27. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, Running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit out and back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a second and ten. More play action here with Zappi. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. That's not cool about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Zappi looks to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. The offenses are always trying to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And that hits the right upright but goes in anyway. Oh, friendly bounce there that could have gone either way easily, but he gets it to go. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at now following the touchdown back out to kick it away 
And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bills ready to take over. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. They'll try the middle with Cole. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Here now a third down at eight. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They've given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And the Patriots take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. They're yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Zappi off play action. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Stiff armed him. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and four. And Zappi to throw. 
checking this down to Stevenson. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them. Touchdown, Patriots! Devontae Parker, 28 yards. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? R-A-C. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Now Ryland for the PAT. It's good. And they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. in the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and two. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he's up to the 44-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there. Nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. A big play that time on the catch and run. 37 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Cook. And a short pick up there down to about the 9. 
Only a yard that time, second and goal. Throwing now is Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have moved out in front. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. Take it at about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So the Patriots coming out now. And right now we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 74 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. Again, it's Stevenson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Jordan Boyer on the tackle. Eight yards on the pickup. Up second and two, at the two yards to go, second down. Zappi from the gun. Over the middle complete. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now Zappi. Short pass caught by Henry. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's a second and five. 
Zappi. He finds Parker. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 32-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Zappi. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Douglas. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and five. From the shotgun, Zappi. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, it's Zappi. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And he missed it. It's no good, and that will keep this a four-point game. So an eight-play drive gets him down there, but play number nine, that winds up a missed field goal. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And then we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Allen now on first down. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Allen now looks to throw. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this up past the 45. To the air, Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. We're following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Here's a second and eight. him drop that slant I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now you can't run with the ball until you catch it trying to get those rack yards before he secured it so the failure to connect on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight it's Knox the tight end making the catch and this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. 
Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover, quarterback Josh Allen. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Cook on the first down carry there as he works his way forward for a gain of about four. Ball on the 27. Here's the second down and six. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as the tackle made up near the 35. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On second down, here's Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. And he's unable to haul it in, so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Field it at the 20. Just a fantastic punt return of 80 yards. And the Patriots have retaken a third quarter lead. Hey, rookie, that's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Yeah, welcome to the party. We saw him fielding those punts before the game, and he just had a little bit of a look in his eye, didn't he? He did. He was a confident young man, and now we know why. Ryland on for the extra point. And 
And that one gives him a three-point lead. But we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. A quick throw taken in by Diggs. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot here, second and a yard from the 34. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Ball start, offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Allen now on the option right. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was, because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping at air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fielded at the 33. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted, so you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Kind of picked themselves up from that one. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, he can be a load to handle off the edge, and he can do it against the pass. Sure, he can do it against the run like he did there. And you mentioned a load. How about having to adjust to his speed as well? Because not only does he bring some pop, he brings some dash as well. A nice play in that situation. Zappy working from the gun. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. On the draw is Stevenson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, 
In this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to a first down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. On the return, Hardy. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Gonna throw. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On second down, Cook. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen off the play fake. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Anthony Jennings able to get him for a loss of about three. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 26. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's Cook again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. Throwing is Allen on third. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Left side, Cook. And he stopped immediately there. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's third and six. Here's Allen. quarterback in the NFL. Wide open offenses, acrobatic receivers. If you're accurate, you're going to have days like this. Bass on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. To the touchdown bass to kick it away and Rager will not return it so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback possession back to the Patriots Ramondre Stevenson headed out with the offense he's had a good performance move the ball effectively on the ground of course he has the one touchdown and when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. Here comes third in the length of the football. Looking to throw, Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. I couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 
103 yards rushing for him now to this point. Second down and three. And Zappi to throw. He completes it to Henry. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 37. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Zappi. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Zappi going to bootleg out. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end's going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Here's Zappi. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Zappi looks to throw it. wonder you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field was he far enough was he close enough to the first down sticks absolutely he was right there by him and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football yeah gotta catch it first because if you don't catch it there's no chance of picking up a first down and his kick is indeed good and that'll bring him back within a point so with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. And Diggs has it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. 
On first down, Allen. And open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he is brought down, but now before reaching the 30. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been ripped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. On the slant, he's got Davis. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Cook up the gun. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control. And yet, they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them. And now, a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at the 20. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Stevenson gets it again on second down. 133 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here now, third and a yard. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. He's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. And that's just what you're hoping for when you dial up that play call. They run play action. Then they're just going to leak the tight end to the outside. You're hoping the man assigned to him commits to the run fake even just for a split second. And that's all they needed to get the completion and the first down. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. 
A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They run once more with Stevenson and a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now second and nine. Off the fake, Zampi. He finds Douglas complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 42. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Stevenson now on first and 10. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. No play action here with Zappi. It's complete to Parker left side. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 23. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Now Zappi. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Floyd picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But tell the statistician to add another one to their impressive total today. Great week for the defensive front. A tough one for that offensive line. Quarterback getting right back behind that line, hoping for more time to attempt a likely third down pass. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Zappi from the gun. That is caught, and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Once more from the 11, second and 10. Zappi. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. Gets it to Smith-Schuster on the jet sweep. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And this one is right through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. 
Well, some complimentary football there. One side, your defense forces the fumble, and then they drive it down the field. Now, obviously, Charles, they wanted the touchdown, but at least they were able to drive it down and get three out of that. Yeah, now we'll have to see how the other sideline responds because they had plenty of time during that field goal to think about that fumble and how they were going to react. What are they going to do when they get the ball back and try and make things a little bit better for their team? Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Allen and the Bills now down by two. A minute 15 remaining. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Here's Allen. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. To throw is Allen. Uh, quick throw there is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Now Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and it convert on third down. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here's first down. Throwing Allen, the veteran who spent last season in Denver. It's Latavius Murray. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's a second and seven. Allen back to the ground this time Cook a nice display of powerful running but it takes him only to the seven he's dropped there at this stage you've got to hustle got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that time out to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. 
So they tried to ice it there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Zappi, one final shot here. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.